Hello and welcome to my little bookish corner of the internet. My name's Harriet. Today I'm going to be taking part in the friends tag. Now I was tagged by Raw Reads. I'll leave their video link down below. It was hilarious. Although I will say that I won't be drinking in my video. But if you want to see someone get absolutely blind drunk, then <laughs> check out the video down below. I did also see this on Kayla Lenson's channel, so I will also leave theirs link down below so you can watch their video. That was super fun as well. I always love watching people's tag videos. But let's get started. So the first prompt is F for friendship, a book with a strong friendship in it. Now, when thinking about the books I want to show today, I did kind of keep in mind what I'd shown a lot of recently. So I'm going to avoid those kind of books show things that I haven't shown before or that I haven't shown in a long time. So for a strong friendship, I would show Gifts by Ursula Gwynn. And this is part of the Annals of the Western Shore trilogy that I read recently. And basically there are two characters in here. So we've got Oric and Gry, and they've basically grown up together in this fictional world. And they literally grow up together until they get into adulthood. And they basically have all these different experiences with each other and their friendship is really strong. They go through so much and they always come out on top. They do have their disagreements, but they're always there for each other and look out for each other. So yeah, if you want to read a trilogy that follows a really strong friendship, I would definitely check this out. Le Guin's one of my favourite authors. She's just amazing at writing characters, so definitely check this out. The next prompt is R for Real Life a non-fiction book that you'd love to read. And that would be All That Remains, A Life in Death by Sue Black. This is quite a morbid novel. It's basically following someone that deals with death and it's written by someone that is a professor of anatomy and forensic anthropology. And basically talking about the many faces of death that this person has seen and how that has affected them and how they can pass on that knowledge to all of us to make us feel a little bit more comfortable about death and basically to face it. Now, death is one of the things that I honestly fear the most. It absolutely terrifies me. So I feel like this will be really educational and will hopefully help me work through that fear because everyone dies and I need to get comfortable with that. So I think this will help me a lot, but definitely a morbid one. It's not going to be like an easy summer read. The next prompt is I for indie author, a book by an indie author, and I'll show you the one that I've been reading at the moment. So that is The New Crown by M.B. Castle. I got asked to read this as an arc, which is super exciting and it's very like Game of Thrones inspired, a little bit of the Lord of the Rings in there as well. So it's a high fantasy novel and I think it's going to be part of its series as well. We're basically following different factions of people and different countries as they fight against each other or come together to basically go against this main force that is called the Eternals. And they are like a mystical, magical race of people um, that essentially want to take down all the royalty and take all the power for themselves. So yeah, it's been really interesting so far. It's quite a long book, so it has taken me quite a while to read, but I am really enjoying it. And definitely check it out if you are a fan of Game of Thrones. I feel like you'll really love this one. The next prompt is E for Endings, a book that made you scream at the end. Now, I don't think I've ever screamed at a book ending or a book in general. So I don't know if this means like with happiness or with frustration or actually being scared. So I'm going to take it with happiness. So I can show you Persuasion by Jane Austen. It's quite a short novel, but it's one of my all time favourites now. I absolutely loved it. And basically the reason I would pick this is because at the end, the characters that you want to end up with a happy ending, don't want to spoil anything, and um, they do end up with the happy ending, which I really loved. So it was such a good read, such a feel good read as well. If you want to check out some classic literature, you're not sure which Austen to start with, I definitely recommend this one. I feel like it's so underrated and it's just written so beautifully and it is quite short, so it won't take you too long to get through. So you can kind of try this first, see if you like it. And then if you do, I definitely move on to Pride and Prejudice, give that a try. But yeah, that would be my pick. The next prompt is N for new, a book you can't wait to buy. Now, the only reason I haven't bought this yet is because I don't have the money to, I need to save for other things. So it's been put on the back burner, but I would really like to buy Late in the Day by Ursula Le Guin. It's a collection of poems by the author and I've been wanting to get into poetry for a little while now. I just haven't really known where to start. So I thought if I start with someone whose books that I love, I'm probably gonna love their poetry and then I can go from there. But yeah, that's definitely something that I want to buy. It's been on my wish list for a while now. The next prompt is D for Dark, a book that has dark themes. And unfortunately, this edition doesn't have its dust jacket. I got it from the charity shop and the dust jacket was just absolutely destroyed. So 
It is The Children of Men by P.D. James and I've already seen the movie of this but I haven't read the book yet so when I saw it in the chair shop I thought I'd pick it up. If you didn't know what it was about, basically it's set in a time where infertility threatens humankind. So basically the last couple of generations of children have either died or the people that are having children they can't have their kids and they're struggling to give birth and things like that and the last child that's been born has died so that's when this story starts and we're basically following one man and his fight for survival and also how he's going to try and save humankind so i really wanted to give this a go i remember really liking the movie even though it's been a really long time since i watched it but i think that it's going to be a really dark and really scary read and the last prompt is S for share, tag some friends that you'd like to take part. And I think this time I'm going to say if you've watched this and you have a channel and you want to take part, go for it. Let me know when you've done it. Give me a comment down below so I can check out your video and then watch it. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if they're on your TBR. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!